Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing my numerology and astrology for the 19th of November 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 18. And if you add the 1 and the 8 together, you get the number 9. The number 9 points to an ending and a beginning. We are being asked to embrace our experiences and allow wisdom to be fermented out of those moments. All of us will experience storms in life. It is always after those storms that new growth bursts forth and colors our world in a new palette of shades and shapes. While this is the number of completion, it is also the number that is about the process required to manifest completion. It is not an affirmation that we are currently complete, but a reminder of those things that are being asked to be completed. This number asks us if we have enough wisdom to take this moment as one that empowers us to find the spiritual message that our circumstances have inspired. Then it asks us to find the way to bring that message out into the real world where it is needed the most. This number is compassionate and kind. It wishes for the goodness that we have cultivated inside of our heart to help us become more aware of those that are struggling. Then it asks us to find ways to support others and this world. This is the number that colors that is all the colors of the rainbow. It is a number that allows for all religions, races, civilizations, and ways of life to be fully embraced and accepted. This number reminds us that a healthy heart is one that refuses to hold bias and judgment over others. It sees all souls as having great value and worthy regardless of upbringing, race, beliefs, or the color of their skin. This is a number that prefers to offer comfort and care. The astrology today. The moon shifts out of Virgo and into Libra this morning early. We seek a better balance in life and that helps us see that the conversations matter more than ever. Vulnerability comes when we are willing to seek first safety and peace inside our soul. When we are finally safe with ourselves, then we can be more open and available to others. Neptune and Mars square, and that can make simple things a bit challenging. Focus is a problem and we spread things too thin. Know that the flows seem to excite one minute and then circumstances seem to dump us in the soup the next. There is a type of confusion today as some things become difficult to sort as too many things seem to be hitting us. Just know that in challenging moments, we can find sources of information, inspiration that may surprise us. Clearly, the obvious patterns are not going to work, so let's try some new ones. There are boundaries that seem to want us to find an easy solution when the truth is that things are seeming to go the opposite of what we think. Know that you are not the only person feeling upset or disappointed currently. That does not give anyone the right to take that upset out on others. Chiron and the Sun in Scorpio will sesquiquatrate. It is time to turn into the waves hitting us. Such moments will test our ability to believe in ourselves. Thanks, everyone.